Okay, so the first question for the database sections is about you creating a form. So the question asks for you to create a form based on the party table. So I'm going to click on the party table. I can go to create and I want to create a form. And there we go. Now, it says that the form must include a serif font for the title and the field headings, be customised so that the field head headings have a two-point border and include an automated date and time and include an option to save each record. So that's what I'm going to guide you through and what we're going to build on now when we go into our design view. So in terms of serif font, serif fonts are the ones that have these little like kind of little bits at the end of each of these. So actually, if I have a look, the default font already has that. So that's amazing for me. I've already got that first criteria tip. So the next item on the list is about customizing the field heading so they have a two point border. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the field heading. I'm gonna hold control down on my keyboard as I go through and I select the rest of the headings, field headings. And then on this form design menu here, I'm going to click property sheet. And if we come down to the border width, um, we are going to have a look here. And if I use this drop down menu, I can change that to two. So that's already increased the width of that. The next feature for this form requires us to put in an automated date and time. So I'm just gonna get out of my property sheet menu. I'm gonna scroll up and I want to put my date and time up here. So I'm gonna click date and time. Um, yeah, I'll go for the full date and time. And you can see here it's added in. This means that it will give me the current date and time, which is the automated one that we want. The last thing is to include an option to save each record. Okay, so in order to have an option to save each record, we're gonna add in a button. I'm just gonna adjust over here the size of the um, detail section of the form. And we're in form design again. If we click down on this menu, if you're ever unsure, I've said this to you guys before, you can just hover over the options. So this one gives us a text box. This is the one here to add in a button. So I'm gonna click on that option and I'm gonna just draw it um, underneath. There we go. Once I do that, it brings up this menu. I need to find the one that will allow me to save. So I'm gonna to go to record operations and we've got save record. I'm gonna click next. I just want it to have the text that says save record. Can go through next and give it a name. I'm just going to call it save record and then finish. So that is the actual complete version of this form and that would have got you four marks.